Hi all, Coach Lisa from the Hub PT in High River, Alberta, and we are working on movement prep number six. Okay, so to start, we're doing the fire hydrant with the dowel across our back. So still working on that core engagement, balancing that dowel across your back. Good, strong, neutral spine, critical alignment all in place. And from here, five on each side, opening up through the hip, making sure that we're not letting that dowel fall. All right, five on each side for that one. Then we're gonna go into cat camel. Now cat camel, you wanna think about rolling one vertebrae at a time as you arch into that camel and then dropping one vertebrae at a time as you go into the cat. So from here, neutral spine to start, we're going to make sure our breath is solid and we're going for one vertebrae at a time, looking up and then one vertebrae at a time, rolling all the way, opening the shoulders into camel. Nice and controlled. All right, making sure that we're not just going through it for the sake of going through it. You're actually trying to get a lovely stretch out of that with your spine. Then we are making our way into an alternating groiner and pigeon. So alternating groiner from plank position, bringing a foot up to the outside of that hand and switching through. I'll move back a bit. All right, eight total. Then we're going into an alternating pigeon. Same setup, tall plank, sweeping through foot to opposite hand, little dip in and out. If you cannot hold that plank, you can go from your knees, bring the knee to your hand, and switch through. Bring the knee into pigeon, come back into pigeon. All right, so there's always a modification if needed. Then we're gonna go into samurai. So let's do it seated, nice and tall, starting with an arm out to our side, coming across the body, gentle tug, release, you're going to go down, grab that sword in your pack, come out, put it back underneath. All right, you're going for eight per side, focusing on that movement. So we can also, instead of just tugging here, we can work on a gentle tug into tricep stretch and then back down, trying to assist. I'll show you from the back. So we're going across, overhead, underneath. Notice how the elbow makes its way down to the ground, not out wide. We're trying to get into good rotation through the shoulder. Then you're going to grab those lateral bands that we used last month. Forgot mine. You're going to set them up and we're working on a zero degree, so up and down, 45 degrees in the hip and then 90 degrees in the hip, lateral band walk. You can do it without a band as well if you can turn on those muscles. You're going for five in each direction. And finally, we're gonna finish with a little challenge of which I'll set up and show you. I need a wall. Okay, little challenge. So, dead bug we all know and love. If dead bug's too easy, you can grab this half foam roller Set it up so that there's clearance from the wall for your head. All right, so resting those occipitals, so the two bones at the back of your head on the end of the roller. Hands are going against the wall, creating good pressure. You're driving through the spine down into that roller. Flat spine, now you're gonna open up, bring those hips up, keeping that pressure, keeping everything engaged and working on one foot at a time, coming down and switching through, okay? If holding here is enough, you're gonna hold for 30 seconds. If you wanna expand, but you can't go all the way down, you can do small movements, eight total. If you're a pro at that, all the way down, all the way up, eight total. All right, that is your June, or sorry, your uh, movement prep number six. Have a good one.